Hey there Blood Bowl fans, Sponge Murphy here with the final game of the normal season in Blood Bowl 2, uh, Brands Division League. Uh, it's Clan Scurvy up against a Dark Elf team called the Dusk Shadows who are rocking a star player as you've just seen in that little video clip there. Uh, first of all I'd like to talk about, this is just a little bit of a different uh, video, uh, well not too little. Um, it's down into edited form so hopefully we can... Uh, just get the highlights going instead of watching a full link game hopefully the highlights won't be too bad and they get to listen to me ramble on a little bit so uh, we chose to receive and we got a pitch invasion so we got some randomly players get stunned on the pitch what worked out very well for us a lot more uh, dust shadows players got hit than us I think we only got one two hit uh, one of my good runners that was fine so the ball didn't land too far away I got jump tuck to go, go down and uh, pick it up he didn't fumble so that's all was good so I like, when I receive the ball, I like to keep him just at the back a little bit. And I like to keep the other gutter runners that I leave back there. Uh, kind of around there as well to keep him protected. And here I am going for the first blitz of the game. Uh, and what do we get? We get a defender down, so that's a brilliant start. Uh, if we get a strong hit, it will be even better. I'm just going to push him over to the top left corner. Uh, I'm going to stay. And I do get a good hit, so let's see what we get. Um, we have he stunned, so a brilliant start. We have one player, one of their players down already from our attacks or our hits. Here we have another roll of dice. Here we get um, what's this one called? Defender stumbles, which if he had the dodge skill, he would have been able to avoid it, but he didn't. So I'm going to hit him hard, and I'm going to stay where I am as well. And we get another big hit, so we get an injury as well. Uh, he's just injured, no long term effects. Effect. So the next uh, blow the whistle, he could get up. So here we go for a foul. I don't think we get anything out of it though. It's just chance of my arm. And we didn't get caught by the referee, which is always good. Uh, it'd be disappointing to get caught so early in the game. Uh, and what I was planning to do was to move up to the right. So I'm moving a couple of players up that way. And I'm carefully uh, not putting them too close to a lot of their players. So if they're wanting to hit us, they're going to have to use a blitz and just move towards us. So that's the end of my turn. It's the Dust Shadows turn too. Uh, a lot of their players are down. We have possession. They did move down a little bit. And here's their blitz. Their first blitz of the game. Uh, they're getting two dice. Um, and they chose... I think they chose just the... Oh, they got a big hit as well. Uh, and one of my guys got stunned. So there are a lot of stunned players on the pitch. Uh, it's not too bad for us now. They're just moving another guy down. And then it goes to turn two to us. Um, now what I wanted to do was to get these gutter runners moving up, especially the guy with the ball. So we got him moved up. Uh, he was nice and safe there. He had no, no dodges to do while running past any guys. And I wanted to, I was thinking about moving him up just a little bit to that corner there. So when the other guy gets up, he won't be in contact with him. So here we do slip and we are forced to use the team reroll, unfortunately, so early in the game. Um, and it, again we slip. So when you're going for it, there's a good chance you can slip. Well, not a good chance. There's a better chance of making it than slipping. And unfortunately, I got it twice here. Uh, so that's a turn over to Dust Shadows. And it's the start of their turn too. So they got plenty of guys moved around. I tried to leave the highlights just to a little bit of moving. And uh, plenty of attacks. But when the guy tries to move, he gets hit hard by one of my scaven guys. He doesn't get the dodge. And he's stunned. I don't think they get to use the reroll if I get a stun on it, which is uh, perfect for us. We had uh, a really bad turn too, so their one was just as bad. So not a whole lot got done then. Uh, here we have Big Crunch, the big rat ogre going for an attack. Uh, he gets uh, Defender Stumbles, I think it is. He doesn't have the dodge skills, so Big Crunch gets a big hit and he knocks him out. Uh, Endlin gets knocked out of the game. The player's out until uh, the end of the match unless he gets the... I think they get the roll dice and let it come in after each touchdown or something like that. Um, here we have my uh, blitz attack coming in. I think I get two dice against this guy. Um, I don't have the block skill. Uh, so I have to go for the push and just push him up a little bit. Uh, and I choose to follow this time just to keep the pressure on. Uh, and then we move over to the left side of the pitch. And we have two guys up against three dark elves here. So I get this guy up off the ground to move him over to the right. Uh, into the center just to, to get some support going and here we have see we get the plus on strength from him and we get the two dice on this guy uh, and what we get is both down but my guy has the block skill so that cancels out his one so we get the hit on this guy and he's down no effect but he's just down 
Uh, we have one dice on this guy, so we get plus one strength from my guy, and he also gets plus one strength, so it limits, it limits him to one dice. And we think we just get the push, and I stay where I am. Uh, just keep my distance a little bit. Now we have the. This was. The good runner ahead. Yeah, I lost the ball when I fell at thing. That's what it was. When I tripped twice, I lost the ball. They, were, they picked it up. And, and so the, those, those shadows are in possession, and I knocked the guy down there. Um, those shadows turn three now. So the guy with the ball is moving down. He's going for the pass. I don't know if this is a short pass or a medium pass, but he's going for it anyway. And my guy's uh, in contact with him, so he can get interference, which is awesome. Uh, and that's a turnover to us. So they have that's two bad turns they've had in a row now, I think. Um, we got the interference. That's the first time we've had it this season. As I said before, the Dark Elves do like to play a bit of a passing game. And I'm really happy to get that uh, interference. So now, I'm going for the Blitz here to try and move this guy out of the way to move my... Uh, good runner up with the ball. All I get is the push, I think. Uh, and I choose to follow. Yeah, I just got the push. I chose to follow to keep the pressure on. And uh, now I have my other gooder going for an attack to try and move him out of the way. I have to use a reroll because I get a uh, defender or it knocks my guy out. So then I get to push him out of the way. And I think I stay here yet. So he's pushed back, which frees, which gives him a less. So I don't have to do as much dodging. I don't have to get past one guy since he's in contact. Um, and I run the good runner right up here. Does he make? He has an 83% chance of dodging, and he does make it. He's getting a clean run up there, and he's in a good position for a touchdown. Uh, and then what do I do next? I move down here a little bit. I'm kind of looking at my options here now, and I move this guy up. I move a couple of guys up here to support the attack on this guy because I want to try and get him out of the way. Um, so I won't have trouble running up for the touchdown. I move big crunch up. He's surely going to show a bit of uh, support. So I get 3 plus 1 strengths. And there you go. I get Defender down the perfect attack. He's going to be getting knocked back to the bottom left. Big Crunch is going to have to fall back a little bit to make room. But that's fine. Um, I think in the next turn then. That's perfect for me to get the touchdown. So I have these 3 guys left against this 1 guy. So I start on the right. So if I push, end up having to push him over. He'll only go over to the left a little bit. Um... And it's fine, and I stay where I am because I think I can still get a plus one bonus from having him there, which I didn't. I thought I did, but I'm still a bit unclear about how that works. So again, I get another push, and I push him up, but what I do this time is I follow, and I get to move onto the square where he was, and the guy attacking out. I thought the guy attacking out might have got a plus one strength from him, but he didn't. So I'm still a bit unclear, as I said before, about how that works. And, and there you go, I'm just getting the third push in a row, so I'm going to stay where I am then. And make him come to me. Uh, and I think that might have been the end of this turn. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I have anything else to do. So I end my turn. Those shadows get their turn 4. We're in a good position. They're going to have to do a lot of movement now. To try and stop me to get this touchdown. But I can't. He uses this attack called Hypnotic Gaze. Which I'm still not sure what it does. I think it kind of puts him out for a turn. Um, and then we have this guy running up. Uh, for the blitz. But he slips. Um... Which I for forces them to use a reroll, and he does get up for the blitz. But my guy, he doesn't dodge my guy with the ball. He makes a little hit on him and he knocks him down. And he can't use two rerolls in a row. He can use one reroll per turn, and that is an absolute perfect. And it goes to a turnover, for, turnover to Clan Scurvy. Now what I want to do, what I wanted to do here was instead of going for the touchdown straight away, one of these guys is guaranteed to get a good hit here. Uh, because there's so many around him, we get plenty of plus one strength bonuses. And Big Crunch actually stuns him, he gets him down on the ground. Um, and then I think I just look at my options here. One guy has plus two strength bonus. So I do an attack on this uh, guy. And I just get... Yeah, I end up getting the push. So I just push him up a little bit. And I think after this I leave. I don't want to take any more risks. Um, because if I get a, if they get a turn over here to get hit on me, I... It, they're very, there's a guy up there in the top right hand corner that's close to my good runner to, and he might be able to snatch the ball off me but I do get both down or I do what do I end up getting here uh both down oh yeah but he has that he has the block skill so it's fine he just ends up getting pushed back and then 
I think it's Mammoth who ended up getting the ball, who has been a fantastic sign. I think this is his third touchdown in as many games, nearly. Uh, he gets the touchdown. It puts us up in a 1 0 lead just before the first half. And it's a perfect start. It's exactly what I needed. We have the cheerleaders dancing and everything in the snowy weather. Uh, and then I forgot to mention, I think the ball is harder to pick up in the snowy weather. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that. But uh, they still have one guy injured and no one gets up. The guy who's stunned or knocked out, he gets up. He's back in the game. So we're coming up to, what is it, turn six. We kick the ball off for him. Uh, we have change in weather, so the weather changes to nice. So that's the end of the snow. The ball, all it does is just change the bounce goes a little bit further on a kickoff. Um, so it's turn five that does shadows. They just He's basically moving this guy up to get the ball. He doesn't really move too many other guys up with him. So he's kind of playing it a little bit unsafe there. But you never know what the elves have in their hands. So have a plan so this guy gets a hit he uh he has the block skill so he's not getting the stuff he's not suffering an attack from that either and this guy has both down so both of us are getting hit but it ends up being a turnover to us because of that and that puts us straight into our turn six um, and i think now i was kind of more focused on defending and trying to keep that one and lead going into the second half and so we have two dice on this guy we get defender stumbles. I think he had the dodge skill. No, he didn't. We get a big hit here. When the re when the slow motion comes on, it means we got a big hit. Uh, that was a big hit on the blitz. So he's stunned. He's down, which is a good start to this turn. And we haven't really got a whole lot of options on the left side. It's more a little bit the middle, the middle right side. A uh, big crunch tries to move, but he gets he has the wild animal, which means. Uh, I think on a roll of one or two, he can't do anything. He just stays there. So that's his turn finished for there. And we get two dice here, which I'm forced to reroll because we get attacker down, which I can't reroll because I have none left. So attacker down, that does when I go to hit, it's the attacker who suffers it instead. And um, I don't use my apothecary because I always try to keep that in case someone dies. But uh, it's not too bad. It's turn six today. I mean, he still has quite a bit of a distance to go. To get a touchdown i'm still confident i can get guys over to block him uh here i get a hit but i'm just down it's not too bad we have another guy going for an attack here he gets the fender down and um, what does he get no he just hits him back that's fine nothing so nothing too serious there uh then i went to my turn the guy just moved over a little bit to the right he didn't really do he didn't move a whole lot which was a bit surprising he did i think he wanted to be surrounded by more players maybe uh the ball carrier so here you have big crunch getting a hit He's moving through, and here we have the Dust Shadows. Uh, they're running down, and he's going for a pass. That's what that little symbol is. This is the passing game I was talking about. So this is their second pass of the game. And look at that distance he's going to cover for a touchdown. He runs down, he's going for and oh, he slips. But the team do have a reroll, I remember that. Uh, he tries to reroll, but will he slip again? Oh, no, he won't. He gets the touchdown. So just before the first half, it's one all. Clan Scar V1, the Shadows 1. Uh, it's all square, it's all tied up. The cheerleaders are out dancing again. Uh, the home crowd are going to be loving that. They're getting it one all. But for Clan Scar V, it's us after losing a lead. So after that, we're back up to turn 8. They get the kick off with kind of a judo karate kick. We get the chair fans, so Clan Scar V get an extra re roll this turn. Now, I had nothing to lose here. I could have just have easily just finished this turn 8 and go into the second half. But one little trick I did kind of see to get some SPP. You know, SPP is what you get for when you do good attacks and it's for it levels up your players. So if you do a pass, you'll get a touchdown, you get SPP, etc. Now he did fumble here and they did have an extra reroll. So I said I might as well use it just to do this little pass. And I ended up only getting one SPP for it, but it's fine. It's just like a little bonus that I, I was able to get before the end of the first half. Um, I don't know why I was moving him back. Uh, I do get another attack here with Big Crunch. Um, and I get Defender Stumble. So he doesn't have the dodge skill. So he's going to be getting hit back. Big Crunch of course has Frenzy. Which means he doesn't get a choice of staying or following. He has to follow when he doesn't attack. And here we get Defender down. And this guy's going to be taking a hit. He's going to hit him over to the left a little bit. And they're going to stay. But it's not too strong. It's not too much. He just gets laid out. He's not stunned or anything. Uh, and here we have two dice. I'm only kind of doing the guys that have two dice here. So here we have the push. He's going to, just to push this turn. He's going to be hitting back a little bit. And 
here we have another two dicer so what do I get defender stumbles he doesn't have the dodge skill so he's also gonna be getting hit back will he get a will we get a big hit this time no he's just gone back and I decide to follow to keep the pressure on and try and get a bonus here I don't think they can get a bonus if a guy has done something the previous turn like attacked and uh, trying to oh he can actually I got a bonus plus on strength bonus here and he gets defender down so we're doing a lot of damage in this little uh this little throwaway turn but not in too much we're just laying him out but no further damage no injuries or anything like that no uh stuns or anything so here i'm pretty sure this is going to be the final hit of the turn uh we just push him back so we're going to stay so he can't hit us the next turn um oh i go for a foul here i get two foul bonuses is, is he going to get anything oh it's a nasty hit but no his armor value is too high and nothing happens so that's it for my turn 8 then I just turn it straight over to them they try one blitz this turn um, which he has the block card my guy gets KO'd so he's going to be down until the start of the next turn Ooh, sorry for you. But that's it that's the both teams going for the second half it's one all the shadows one clan scurvy one we were leading one nil uh, their injured guy doesn't come back. One of my guys who got knocked out does come back, which is always good. So the teams are coming back out at their halftime break. Hopefully we can get the lead again and not throw it away. Uh, we will be kicking this turn. Yeah, the the dust shadows are going to re receive, and I always like to kick the ball up as far as I can get it. Uh, quick snap! All players in dust shadows may move one adjacent square. So that's just a little bonus for them. It's not too much of a notice for us. So go straight into their turn 9 then. For those shadows. He makes a big long run up to get the ball. He doesn't fumble. He picks it up first turn. Uh, this guy on the left side of the pitch is going for a blitz straight away. He gets defender stumbles. I don't have the dodge skill so he's getting a hit there. And then we have this guy. He's getting two dice. And he gets defender down so he's getting a hit on one of my guys I think he's, he's my thrower the guy with the big kind of metal arm they haven't done too much damage yet we're still in it here he has another defender down and he's knocked back and on the floor but he's still we're still in it he's not knocked out or he's not stunned and so straight away I go with big crunch getting the attack with the three dice he, we get defender down that's perfect hopefully we can do a bit of damage here he gets a frenzy for it so he follows uh, and we just hit it, we just knock him down, that's all. Um, what I was trying to do here is kind of, I want to try and block up the middle to the left hand side a little bit, so in case this guy tries to do a big long run down. Um, here I get the push so I can push him back a little bit. And I'm going to choose to stay where I am. No point in following, going. there's no point in moving him into that middle of that pit there. Uh, he'd only get destroyed the next turn. So here we get Defender down on the same guy that gets pushed back. Um, so we're getting... The, this game, Clan Scarvey have been doing very well uh, hitting wise. We've been getting a lot of... We've been getting lucky with the, the dice rolls. We've been getting a lot of uh, Defenders down. We haven't lost too many. Um, a game in the last game against the Orcs. Um, we didn't lose anyone. We didn't suffer any big injuries or anything. Uh, we've been doing okay the last two games. So this guy tries to run up. But he doesn't make the dodge against my against uh, against my uh, scurvy team member, and then it goes straight to a turnover, and it's us and back to turn ten. That was a quick turn for us or for them, and it puts us right back in the driving seat. So I'm trying to move everyone up here to put pressure on the ball carrier. Uh, there's a chance here that I might have to make a dodge, or do I take it? No, I didn't take it. Um, I just move up for the blitz on this guy. And I end up getting, what did I get? Oh, just a push. So he's going to be getting pushed back out of the way. I think I push him to the right. Did I? Or up to the top? No, just straight up to the top. Um, and I follow just to keep the pressure on the ball carrier. Because if he try and moves, one of my guys can try and grab him. If they're in contact. So I do have one in contact there. And here we have Big Crunch again trying to do a bit more damage. He gets uh, Defender Stumbles, I think it is. Yeah, he doesn't have the dodge skill. Yeah, and I was looking here, I don't have the... I was trying to see which one to go for. Um, 
Actually, I can't remember too much what happened there, but I remember I did have to re-roll. It wasn't really good. But in the end, it was a bad dice roll we got. I think it was two bad, bad dice rolls. Uh, attacker and defender down. So that turns a straight uh, turnover to the Dust Shadows. Um, but it's not too bad. At least we have three guys up there putting pressure on. One of them is getting pushed back on Gutter Runner. Uh, the good runners aren't the hit hardest hitters, but they're the best for moving around the field. The move they can cover a lot of distance. Uh, my storm vermin here, he's getting pushed back. Uh, then it goes to turn eleven. He didn't move the ball carrier this turn, so he, he must have a plan in in mind. Um, there's still plenty of scurvy guys up on the far end of the pitch, so there's not. He, maybe it's a bit too early to move him out. It's still only turn eleven. Big Crunch moves up for the Blitz to try and get a hit on this guy to move him out of the way. All we get is a push, which is unfortunate. Um, and I think these might have a rule for the Elves, or maybe it's just these Dark Elf guys, because when Big Crunch gets a push, he gets the Frenzy. So if he gets a push, he has to follow him, and then he gets to roll the dice again. But I didn't get to do that against these guys. I must have to look that rule up again for next season. Uh, here we go for attack. We get a good, strong hit. And we get he's stunned, so he's down for another two turns, or for another turn at least. Um, the ball carrier is still there, he's still safe. I couldn't get to him, so I'm trying to hit the guys around him. Uh, so here we get bought down. Unless you have the block skill, that's what I have. He doesn't have it, so I get a hit there that puts him down. And then it goes to turn 12 to the Dust Shadows. Now as you can see, they have two guys, they have their star player and one of their witches down here. Um, so I think I I think another Tron action could be in play here. He's going for the blitz straight away before moving the ball carrier. Try and move guys out of the way. He just gets a push. It's a good tactic to use. You have to get everyone out of contact. And he did move the ball carrier over to the left. Um, now this is where I try to corner him off to the left side. If you push a guy off the left or off the side of the pitch. They're automatically knocked out and the ball gets thrown back in. So I, get, I try and hit this guy out of the way. All I do is get a push. And then I move these two guys. Or I move this guy over for the blitz. And I'm pretty sure I just end up getting a push on this. Yeah, so I push him over against the sideline. And then I end up moving the good runner up to keep the pressure on him. And the plan here is when I get another attack on him eventually. Um... I want to push him over the sideline, the ball will get through back in. It gets through back in pretty close to where the guy got thrown out or got knocked out. So um there's a good chance one of my guys can catch it. But my guy doesn't get the dodge when he's trying to run up there. We get hit on the floor. I go for the reroll to try and get it. It's an important one to try and make. And I don't get it again. How this that miss, that fall, that hit, sorry, was vital. Um I really needed to make that to keep the pressure on the ball carrier. At the worst, I was thinking I might be able to get a draw here. But after that, that was a huge hit they got. Um, their guy's going for attack. This guy just gets pushed back. Uh, it's turn 13. Now it's pushing near the end of the game. It's looking like it could be a draw. Um, but this guy gets a hit. Uh, I get to use my dodge skill, which I get to fall back. That's okay. He stays where he is then after that. One of the guys just moving around to get a hit. But Big Crunch gets the hit with the tail. He doesn't get the dodge. and he, But he gets the re-roll. And he gets it this turn. So at least I have to make him use his re-roll. Uh, turn 13 for Clan Scurvy. We really have to get the ball carrier to drop that ball right now. Um, I have no re-rolls left. And then I get an attacker down. It's this the, the last two turns I've had no luck at all. So it goes straight to a turnover for their guys. It's turn 14. It's not looking too good. Uh, I haven't got too many guys over to the left at all. So there is space for them guys to start running. I take a hit here so one of my guys is down. And here's the blitz on my good runner. That I was hoping to try and get a hit on the ball carrier when he runs. Uh, so he gets defender down, he gets the hit, he and he does get him down, so that leaves the ball carrier, it gives him a free chance to move down. So it's not looking too good for Clan Scurvy here, it's the last game of the season, we're trying to get that 3 points, 
to move up to fourth, and it's not looking like we're going to get it. And my guy here gets pushed out, and this is what happens when you get pushed out of the side. You get knocked out, three guys from the crowd come down and beat you up. So Nick is asked, is knocked out. Uh, in my mind, I think a waste. What I was thinking here was if I use the pocket clarity, it could be a bit of a waste because there's a good chance they can get a touchdown here. But maybe I should have. And then when I tried to get the blitz on, I do get another hit. Uh, I don't make the dodge, they get the hit and I don't get to re-roll after that, like, I don't even have any left. So turn for 15, we have two turns left, this is vital for them. Yeah he's he's running down, I don't get the hit, he makes the dodge and he is going to pass, he's passing to the star player and this is the only thing he has done the whole game. He runs down, he doesn't slip and at turn 15. The Dusk Shadows get a touchdown to make it 2-1. And I'm positive now, I'm pretty sure that is going to end the hopes of Clan Scurvy getting into the Mega Cup. We will not make top 4 now. Even with a draw, we still won't make it. Um, the Dusk Shadows cheerleaders are out. They're enjoying it. One of my players does, one of my knocked out players does come back into it. Is it a little bit too late? And it is. And there you have it, the Shadows are celebrating their win, I'm pretty sure they finished in the top 4. Uh, that star player gave them a little bit of a help that they needed for this win uh, in the final game of the season. Uh, we failed to reach the top 4 so we don't get into the Mega Cup. Uh, Mammoth gets a man of the match, I think that's the third man of the match he's got. And he has gone up a level, I've had two players gone up a level this game so there is a little bit of a bonus from it. Uh, Mammoth has two MVPs, that's what he has. So uh, brilliant signing. Um, on that part. So here we have the first level up. We have Mammoth has gone up to level 3. And uh, when we roll the dice, we get to choose what skills we get to choose. So we get general and agility. And what I did choose is to give him the sure hands, which gives him an, an extra reroll when he's picking up the ball. So I think that's uh, an assess, uh, something that good runners need to have. Uh, as for Jump Tuck, one of my other favourite players, he's go up a level. Now I think because he rolled doubles, I get to choose the mutation. And that's the first time I've had it all season so I'm definitely going for that so I gave him the extra arms and as you can see he has two extra arms that's another bonus for picking up as well um, so that pretty much ends our season we finished in sixth so mid table and too bad hopefully next season we can get off to a better start um, and we can look for promotion to the silver division um, so it's another season in the bronze division to look ahead to and then in the first game of the next season we have our rivals, we have the unstoppable mashers that absolutely decimated half of my team in the last time we played them. They're not the best team to, to that play by a long shot, I think they're finishing at the bottom of the league but they are tough as nails, they can do a lot of damage and they're hard to, it's hard to damage them as well so I think I'm going to have to play the avoidance tactic as well just like we do with the Orcs and try and get a victory out of us. Um, one of the only the other new teams that I recognised was another elf team, which is another elf team in the league. They're everywhere. So yeah, that's the end of the season one, and hopefully you like this new commentary and with the new uh, editing video. So make sure to hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys at the start of season two of Blood Bowl.